Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the another application of LM317. Okay. So in the last video, we have understood about LM317 as a current regulator. So in this video, we are going to understand about the LM317 as a voltage regulator. Right. So this is this is uh, another application of LM317. Okay. You can use LM317 as a current regulator or voltage regulator. Okay. If you haven't watched the last video, please go and watch the last video, which is LM317 as a current regulator. Okay. So so here you can see this is the circuit diagram of LM317. Okay, how you can use LM317 as a voltage regulator or LT317 as a voltage regulator, right? So basically, this is a three terminal device as you already know. This is input, output, and adjust pin. And this is this this LM317 can maximum deliver up to 1.5 ampere current, right? So as you already know from the last video the the input is what should be the input voltage so it should be greater than v in is greater than v wet plus right v wet or v out in this case we have v out right our output voltage out plus 4.25 volt okay so your input voltage that is in or v in is greater than out your output voltage e if you want to say here in let me write it here in so in your in is greater than out plus 4.2 volt so your out here is let's say 5 volt so 5 volt plus 4.25 volt that means it should be at least greater than 9.5 volt here here the output is 5 volt right so here the output is 5 volt let me write it 5 volt so this output is 5 volt right 5 volt plus 4.25 volt that is 9.25 volt and how you will get 4.25 volt that is 1.25 it is reference voltage plus 3 volt headroom right so for this case my input is 12 volt and i want to generate the output of 5 volt and by using some formula you can you can choose the resistance value r1 or r2 you have to make sure that it it uh, it it should deliver the reference current to this adjustment which could be like 150 microampere right so you have to calculate the reference current while selecting the value of r1 right so now let me run the simulation and show you what is the output and what is the input so i'll go here this is run button okay this is run button and i will go here tile window vertically so that you can see both schematic and window both schematic and waveform together so this is my input so you can see this is 12 volt let me divide into two plot pane so this is input and this is output so you can see here your input is 12 volt and your output is 5 volt okay it is 5.07 volt okay if you want to current the load current your load current is you can see here it is your load current is around 1 ampere okay so so your output voltage v out is 5 volt and your load current is 1 ampere so you, you probably have a question so what is the power dissipation across this u1 or lm317 and will that withstand the power dissipation or we do we need any external heat sink right so let me show you the power dissipation of this lm317 right so just press control plus alter you will get this key just press control and alter you will get this symbol like 
you have bat and ball and just click it on that and now you can see the power right so your power is this and it is coming it is coming around 7 watt so you, you so you have to analyze the circuit whether this this can deliver the power dissipation up to 7 watt and do you need you have to make some calculation for heat sink and how much what is the size of heat sink do you need and what is the thermal resistance of do you need to withstand the power to withstand the power of 7 7 watt right so 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 hope you understand the application of lm317 as a voltage regulator if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video